So now we'll go over again from the sprawl position, front headlock position, how to chain your guards and guillotine attacks together to have some submission chains that can be tough for your opponent to deal with. So, as I showed before, in this front headlock position, there's a lot of options. You can hit the darts, you can hit the guillotine. A lot of times when you're trying to go for one, the opponent may block it, which leaves him open for the other. So, in this front headlock position, I like to be real tight here, sitting and waiting, being patient for our opponent to either move, uh, which gives us an opening, or we can force it, as I'll show here. So, here I can go ahead and I can try to sit through for a guillotine, but sometimes our opponent may be grabbing our, our forearm here because uh, I, I want my hands to be as close to his neck as possible. So if he grabs from under and pulls my arm away from his neck, then I can't get the choke. So when I'm here and if he's pulling his arm away from my neck, then I'm losing the choke. So I can use that opening to shoot my opposite arm through for the guillotine as I showed before. And then we can do the standard sit through finish here or some other finishes that I'll go over in a moment. So, or vice versa, I can be trying to force the guillotine here, and our opponent can be grabbing this, this uh, arm, not letting us get the grip we want, so I can't get it deep through enough. If I sit through, I might risk losing it. So I'll use that opening to pull my arm down, create a little bit of space to shoot my other arm back all the way through, and then tr uh, grab this far side tricep here, sit my hips through, and then the arm and compress guillotine. So as you can see, going for one of these right away might not work uh, instantaneously, but you can threaten a guillotine, get your opponent to react, threaten a dars, get them to react, and then capitalize on them mid-scramble to go ahead, sink whichever one will eventually lead to the submission.